That uh, risk could be a thing of the past now. The surgical scalpel has been ditched in favour of high-tech lasers. More precise and painless, doctors are trumpeting their cause. Now, it might not hurt your eyes, it will certainly hurt your pocket. The operation costs around £2,000 an eye. Nazanin Mushiri explains how it works. Do you want to open your eyes now? Take a look. Do you see the time on the clock up there? The same eyes, but a very different view. Okay. It's a bit misty. But... Yeah, a little bit. It's the first time Jenny Oakley's been able to see the time without her glasses since she was 10. Beforehand, I wouldn't have been even able to see where the letters were, let alone read the letters. So just amazing. As I said to Mr. Dyer, it's like a, it's like a miracle, really. <laughs> it really is. And he says it'll get even better tomorrow. Jenny's one of the first people in the country to go through a pioneering laser surgery technique. At the moment, most surgeons use a scalpel to cut a flap in the cornea before a laser can correct the person's sight. It's a delicate procedure that can lead to complications. But Jenny's surgeon at this West Sussex clinic has replaced the blade with a laser guided by a computer. He says that makes it a lot safer. This is far more precise, it's 100 times more accurate than, than the traditional mechanical device that, was, that has been used. And we found this is the year of having the, the laser in our institution here. And we've re reviewed our data in about fi 500 patients and we found that not, none of them have had uh, any problems, major problems at all. And not only that, they've had an improvement in vision. They're, they're, they get lines of vision better than perfect. Very little is known about the long-term effects of laser eye surgery. It's also difficult to get the NHS to pay for the treatment, so it could cost thousands of pounds. Despite the expense and the uncertainty for people like Jenny and thousands of others desperate to see without their contacts or glasses, it's a very tempting option. Nazani Mashiri, ITV News. Well, we're going to take a short break now, but please stay with us. Flying high, we speak live to the 18-year-old businessman taking on the budget airlines.